Hi, it's Art, short for Artemy, and you can find me at CU Artist pretty much everywhere. I am in a couple comic discords, and recently a conversation was being had about not feeling ready to start your big comic idea. And I really, really do understand that. Oh boy. So I just wanted to talk about some of the ways I kind of got over that and questions to ask yourself if you really are like not ready or if you are just kind of holding yourself back. Earlier on in my comic journey, definitely before I had written the script, I had the fear of if my art was not good enough a lot more regularly. And while I think it is important to try and grow in the areas that you feel you aren't good at, there does also come a point when you kind of realize that you are always going to be your own worst critic. You kind of have to realize that you are always going to be growing no matter what. So I think it would be helpful to look at other web comics that are long running and kind of look at various points in the comic just to kind of like realize that that is a very normal aspect of making comics. They take a really long time to do and they're usually kind of difficult because there's so many things you have to draw so it's just very natural that you're going to be improving a lot. There are some like other tips I have for just improving the art specifically, I'm gonna talk about that tomorrow, but I think the underlying issue most of the time with this is you are just never going to feel ready really. There were definitely moments where I was like this is like my big idea, this is the reason why I got into art, what if I'm not going to do it justice? And so I really just started working on all of my prep work that I was doing. I wrote the script, I did the thumbnails because those things take such a long time and that gave me practice to get to where I am. A lot of people will say that it is definitely a smarter idea to just do a smaller comic before your magnum opus, just to like realize that you are going to be improving with every comic you do, and also realize how long it takes to make a comic. So just kind of like realize the scope of the comic that you want to make and think about how long that will take you. I've mentioned I tried to do this before with Composed of Nows, the little romance webtoon I was wanting to do, but the issue with that is I was just so much less into the characters and plot and everything that I just kept going back to Farragon no matter what. So if you do want to do a smaller comic beforehand, I think it really needs to be something similar that you are genuinely interested in it would be smart to do like a spin-off comic of your main idea, maybe just do some beforehand scenes. I didn't do like a longer comic, I did like strips or pages of characters just interacting with each other while I was mostly I think while I was working on my script because I wanted to be drawing comics, but I couldn't start the actual comic yet, so I was like, I'm just gonna do some one-off short things to kind of get a better feel for the characters, to get some comic practice in, because it's been so long since I was actually drawing a page. And if you do a kind of spin-off comic, it will get you to think more about the world building, and yeah. I definitely have some characters who I was planning to do that who are in the same world as Farragon, but before the story starts and they're not the same characters that are in the story like at all. But I think I came up with them after I had already done most of the scripting, so it was just kind of not as in my brain as it could be. So yeah, I think the major th reasons for not feeling ready are usually just kind of like a mental block but sometimes you do really want to have some improvement beforehand, and I think doing a smaller comic might help with that, or starting to work on the prep stuff for the comic. Like I said, tomorrow I'm going to be talking more about studying and practice stuff a little bit more in detail, but I think it is really worthwhile to like ask yourself if you will ever reach a point of feeling like you're ready. Are there solid goals you have in mind that are the ready point of actually starting. And also, like, think about past you. 
would you from two years ago think current you is ready? And just try and like get some perspective on what your art level is and just know that a lot of the time people, if they see newer pages that look good, they will still work through the older pages. As long as they're like readable, people will still read through them to get to the pages that they really were excited to see. On a side note, having legible, readable comics is so important. I am going to link a video from Walter Osley in the video about section that talks about like speech bubbles and lettering that was so helpful and definitely will help with like legibility. But other than like readability, people are mostly interested in the story and they might click on it to start with for the art, but a compelling narrative is really what will drive continued reading. So yeah, just kind of assess if you are over criticizing yourself and try and see your art as a couple years ago you would. Because I know that looking at my comic pages today, there's still a lot of stuff that I would want to tweak, but I am getting better at fighting the perfectionism and being like, okay, people will usually spend a couple seconds looking at this. It doesn't have to be perfect. There's a lot of things I can recognize I could do better on currently, but I also am looking at it through the eyes of what little me who just started digital art would look at and the textures and the emotion and I'm getting the eyes the way I really liked to see them as a child and that definitely helps me keep on going because I'm like baby me would be so proud of what is happening so that is all I have for today thanks for listening and I hope to see you tomorrow